Hello traders, FS Bercoletti here. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar. Starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full time down analysis. So on gold dollar, I'm still looking at this as one, two, three, and I'm still not really convinced the wave three is over. It definitely could be over, but I still think it's more likely it will go up to that 161.8, and then we'll make a wave four, and then we will make a wave five to finish off the trend that started back here. So heading down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this looks like a 1, I still think this looks like a 2, and it still looks to me like these are subdivisions of a wave 3. If this really is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is a wave 5 or wave 3, which it is possible, then maybe it is now going to go down make a bigger question for the wave 4, and then back up for the wave 5. But we'll have to look and see if we see evidence of that on sort of time frames. So heading down to the daily time frame. Now now this is the structure that I'm watching very very closely. A break of that structure right there is going to confirm this move up is over. Now looking at this again on the daily you know 12 hour time frame range it actually does kind of look like five waves down then it looks like one two three waves up so if it does break and hold below this structure i actually think it's going to confirm that this is an a this is a b and that we are now going down for a wave c of wave four then probably later on we'll go back up for the wave five so i'm definitely keeping a very close eye on this structure i think that if it does break that's going to confirm the wave b analysis if it doesn't break but it actually rejects the structure and keeps on going up that's going to confirm that we are in a wave five of wave three so heading down to the four hour time frame definitely watching this very closely it looks like it is trying to break and hold below structure as soon as it does break and hold below structure i think that you should switch up and start looking for cells because i think that's going to signify that we're in a wave c of wave four which would lead to a pretty big move to the downside taking it down to the one hour time frame i'm watching like i said i'm watching this structure level very very closely i mean yeah it's definitely going below it but so far it has not been able to really close and hold below structure and to me it definitely looks like a one two three four five which is why i still think that even though it is trying to break i still think there's a pretty good chance that it could make a move to the upside is this whether the move to the upside is a correction to this last move down or whether it's going to be the continuation of the uptrend for me i'm definitely keeping a very close eye for breaks of structure to the upside if i do see a break of structure to the upside i will definitely start looking for longs again if i do see price break and holding below this structure that I am definitely going to switch up and start looking for sales at the end of pullbacks probably for the next several weeks because it should go down for a wave C of wave 4 like I was explaining on the higher time frames. So don't forget to join my free discord channel which is linked over here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading.